and some of the early estimates, the path width of a half a mile to a mile, that's a pretty wide twister. Let me show you some of the new video coming in this morning from Bologna, and you get a sense of the destruction in town. We're on the outskirts here at the Harp Grocery, and we also have the public information officer from here in Faulkner County, uh, Stephen Hawks. And Stephen, uh, what is the status of the search right now as far as residents? Right now, at, according to the fire chief, there were between 14 and 16 homes completely destroyed, mm -hmm. and then they're gathering together the emergency service groups. 7 a.m. at the high school, they're going to send out teams to the homes that have been destroyed to make sure that there are no people there, no injured, no, no fatalities in those areas. And hopefully they'll get it done before the weather sets in again and we get another round of thunderstorms. You can't get a break. So not everybody is accounted for, but as we found out in St. Louis, a lot of people, it was Friday night, a lot of people were out to dinner and out of town. Right, right. And, and that's hopefully the case here. And tell us a little bit about the victims and how they um, lost their lives. Okay, there were four fatalities associated with this storm, and uh, they were uh, they were in three different groups. So there was an individual, and they were in a manufactured home, and then another individual in a manufactured home, and then two that ended up getting picked up out of the back of a tractor trailer rig trailer, mm -hmm. and it was dropped in a pond some Jeez. some it's distance away very, very bad. In the small Lawrence County town of Williams, they're watching and waiting. It's probably 